Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sibella, owner and founder of Sibella Wines. I'm a biotechnologist by profession, tent wine maker, and obviously a wine professional, wine enthusiast, or a wine expert. So, today I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can put together a good wine label. So when I say wine label, I mean how you could design a label for your wine. So, um, what I realized is that a lot of um, wine entrepreneurs or uh, people who are aspire to have their own wine brand are not so clued up about you know the ledges or uh, the requirements of putting a label together. So, um, the wine industry or um, there is a body that actually regulates you know the wine industry. It regulates the wines on the market, and one of the ways that they do so is by putting together guidelines. Um, for wine producers to use uh, when putting together a wine label. So that's to make sure that certain information is included on the label and also certain forms are used you know, to make it much more easier and much more um, easier to read for consumers and so on and so on. And that's a serious thing. So what um, the, wine and body, or the wine body would do is that they would actually have a look at your label, see that you've got everything, your fonts, um, everything that you need to have have on your label <clears throat> and then they would also um, run some tests um, to see that what you claim is in the bottle of wine is indeed in the bottle of wine such things like you know uh, how much sulfides are in there um, also like what grape varieties in terms of quantities are in there um, and they would uh, market uh, certified by providing you with this label or this seal we call this um, this this the certification seal so that's what you get and if if you see a bottle of wine that does not have this, you must just know that it just has not been taken for uh, approval with SAWIS, which is the regulating body in South Africa. So also, I mean, in terms of consumption, you can buy that bottle of wine if you're buying it from directly from the producer and keep it and drink it for yourself. Uh, but this is not the kind of bottle that you find on the shelves and so on and so on. So if you're putting together a bottle of wine that you're aiming at selling um, to the market, to the public, you need to make sure that you get the bottle of wine certified. So a couple of things that um, are going to be needed um, that you need to consider is actually, um, you know, the brand name is always going to be there. This is the brand name. Um, and it doesn't really matter, you can have a brand name, company name, you can also have a logo which is part of your marketing uh, strategy and you will always have this which is a, 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 a description of what's in the bottle of wine. This is a red blend and that's why we have this and we're always going to have um, you know the the, the 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 vintage in front of the bottle and this is the information that goes in front of the bottle the rest of the information goes at the back of the of the label so you don't want to have the information that's meant to go at the back in front so you know they're going to look at most importantly obviously they're not going to pay that much attention on your story or whatever suggestions you have for your customers but they're going to look at such things as you know do you have um, the grape varieties stated at the back um, and what is the constitution of that um, and most importantly you need to have your alcohol levels in there the volumes and the warning sign that it contains sulfurs and you also want to have you know the wine of a region and um, where the wine is bottled you also want to have the warning um, the health warning sign at the back and it's also important that this is, is on the on, on a white background in black letters because that's one of yeah, the most visible fonts that we can find in a way of writing. So there's so many other things that are considered or that needs to be considered when putting a wine label. Like I said, certain fonts that need to be used when you are putting together all this information at the back of your label. And if you don't put together a, a label as I've just described or as I've just hinted, chances are they're going to turn back your label and say you need to do corrections and sometimes even if even for myself I've been doing my labels for like so long but sometimes you know there's just a mistake that you make that you're not aware of and you send it and then you know they're like no you have to correct this and stuff because if it's not well put together you're not going to get yourself and my friends and that's how you should put your label together uh, and I hope you found this uh, video informative. I hope you found it um, fun and uh, informative as, as I said. Uh, but if you did like this video, can you please leave me a comment? 
with your questions or any other comment anything else that you have in mind with regards to like putting together a label of a label or for your wines please do leave me a comment like this video and also subscribe so that you can have access to many more of my videos that i'm going to be sharing with you about wine and the business of wine thank you cheers